I hope uh, I'm speaking loud enough. I'm getting some comments that uh, the uh, podcast is quiet. Uh, some of that has to do with the fact that my voice is deep. The other is that I don't speak so loudly. And uh, another is I'm trying to get the right lighting. After all, this is a sort of a Mickey Mouse camera in these computers, as well as uh, some small little microphone somewhere. I can't even see where it is. Uh, and so we're not getting ideal uh, conditions. Uh, I've looked into getting uh, other type of uh, cameras, and there's so many things on the market that are available. But uh, I'm trying to avoid having one more gadget uh, to have to carry around and uh, set up uh, and take with me. Computer serves the purpose well while I'm uh, sitting down. Uh, if I do something else, that uh, like a public lecture or something like that, or even if I wanted to actually go out and uh, go to holy places, uh, here in New Rajadam, then uh, taking the computer with me isn't exactly such a great idea. But here we are, and uh, actually that just reminds me, or I just reminded myself that uh, uh, one more holy place, uh, I mentioned earlier that there are two holy places uh, still up for sponsoring. Now it's only one holy place. That holy place is uh, Kamiavan, which is in a very secluded part of New Bajadam, uh, up on top of a hill. It has the best view of uh, all, uh, all the places of uh, Krishna Valley, and a uh, place that's often frequented by our uh, cows, because they go grazing there, as Krishna also took cows uh, grazing to Kamyavan. And uh, Vyomasura's cave will also be there, and other places of pastimes. If anyone uh, would like to uh, sponsor uh, that place, please let us know. Uh, what's the price? Five million Hungarian forint, and uh, that translates into pounds to something like fifteen, sixteen thousand. I'm not sure what the exchange rate is right now. Forint is quite weak, and dollar-wise, it's euro-wise, it's about twenty thousand or eighteen thousand. Dollars is uh, is a little more, something about twenty-two. Uh, and that's, that's the end. After that, once we finish and I finish the book, then the next project will be the other smaller uh, places and uh, putting plaques out for those. So those uh, will also make in the future, and hopefully that will inspire a lot of devotees. They'll be very uh, inexpensive, just actually putting out plaques and uh, different places, and we've experimented with different types of those, but more about that next year. And what's today's question? Uh, Teja Sri Devi Dasi in Romania, she's asking, uh, do I still meet with the gentleman who sponsored uh, Radhe Sham and Dayan Kaibi Jai Goranga in Budapest? No, his name was Radhapad Das. Uh, he is a Bengali uh, gentleman, a supporter of ISKCON. I believe that Radhamadava's temple, as well as uh, the adjoining guest house, the uh, chakra guest house, he, uh, he sponsored. And he had a uh, standing offer that any deities uh, to be installed in ISKCON, he would sponsor them. And uh, he had a uh, nice man who I met quite a few times uh, over Radhe Sham and others. Uh, I don't know whether it was 
was Mr. Chakravarti, but a very Bengali name. He was his secretary in that regard, and he would uh, oversee the deities, pay for them. Uh, he would take care of all the basics. We didn't have to really do anything other than select the deities, pick them up, and ship them. Uh, yeah. So, uh, how did I get to know him? And uh, if she wants to know more, well, that's as much as I can say. And I got to uh, know him because uh, he was knowable. He used to be around. He was uh, constantly there. He uh, made it known that uh, uh, he wanted to uh, sponsor uh, deities. And he... Uh, also came a couple of times to the GBC uh, meetings uh, and uh, just spoke a few words. Uh, he was a very uh, prominent uh, donor, but he's left this world, so no, I don't have any uh, further contact uh, with him, unfortunately. He's gone back to Godhead. And her other question is, in Jagannath Puri, uh, is there anything left of the temple that uh, Indrajivna Maharaj originally built? Uh, the uh, archaeologists and uh, archaeological department who oversees uh, I guess certain aspects of uh, study and research of uh, Puri Temple say that uh, there are seven foundations uh, upon which the current temple stands. Uh, generally, in construction of buildings, uh, the uh, upper portion of buildings go through much more wear than foundation. Foundation is just, they're always there. Uh, that's why in archaeology uh, they discover foundations very, very easily. And uh, cities, buildings uh, tend to maintain the same foundation and they just build up and up and up and up uh, based on uh, newer, uh, the fact that old buildings are worn down, new buildings need to be uh, uh, built so they save money by uh, building on existing uh, foundation. However, also uh, earth level tends to, or earth shifts, and often uh, uh, those same found the foundations go down further and further. Anyway, uh, whether that original foundation is there, I can't say. Uh, but that much I can say that uh, these seven uh, do continue to uh, exist at the present time, and it may be that the first one is the one that uh, Indrajuna Maharaj uh, constructed. I say maybe. I don't know. And uh, she wants to also know that uh, the original uh, form of Lord Jagannath, uh, who came floating uh, from uh, on the uh, ocean, is he? Uh, uh, is his form still there? Uh, and the answer is that. Uh, Jagannath had instructed his own system of worship. It's uh, laid down in uh, detail, partly in Skanda Purana, and then there's also uh, the tradition in which that's uh, written down. And uh, like uh, human, well, not like every human being, but like, for instance, uh, uh, sannyasis, Jagannath is buried. He has a cemetery behind the temple, and uh, when the uh, Navakalevaran, uh, when the uh, body of Jagannath is uh, changed uh, according to possibly every 14 years, but sometimes it will vary astrologically, uh, then the old body is buried and the new body uh, is installed in the temple. So one would expect that the original form of Lord Jagannath uh, because this tradition